A very warm welcome to everyone and this is uh, Pompey's uh, uh, press conference at the airport. We have come to welcome him to Kenya. He's coming to attend the Love Nairobi Festival that is going to be happening on Friday all the way to Sunday. And he's right here. Welcome to Kenya, Pompey. Thank you so much. Thank How you. It's you? great to be here. I'm great. I'm great. I'm uh -huh. great. Thank you. How is the feeling being here in Kenya? Always, always a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Always, uh, always, always lovely to be to be in Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Probably, is it your yeah. first time in Kenya, or have you been here before? No, I've been here uh, a couple of times. I, I love Kenya. It's one of the the countries that really supports my music. So, yeah, I've been here a couple of times, but. Uh, for the Love Festival, uh, first time, uh, yeah, looking forward to see what uh, what God's gonna do here. Yeah. And yeah. what are your expectations? We know you're here for the Love and Nairobi Festival. We are all looking forward to it. What are your expectations as Pompey? Um, I think my expectations is, um, I mean, the works God to do His work. God to do His work here. Um, I, 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 I've, I've seen a lot of the, 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 the a lot of the lineup. It, there's a lot of impactful, uh, whether it's preachers or ministers in music, and yeah, I'm looking forward to see the works, what God's going to do in this place, yeah. yeah. And of course, you, uh, Pombi, you are the best gospel artist, you know. I've listened to your song, and uh, so many people ask themselves, where do you get the song? So where, how do you get the inspiration? Because there is a song that you did four months ago. Yes. It really did so well. Oh, wow. How do you get the inspiration? Um... I think music it's a grace it's it, I think I guess that's 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 my 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 talent mm -hmm. I, uh, that I, I was graced with and I started out as a poet mm -hmm. so writing and lyrics are my are my are the core of my music yeah. and then obviously transition to creating music so I would say it's very inspired music and uh, yeah it's it's just a gift I, I, I didn't work to get it mm -hmm. uh, God just granted it to me mm -hmm. Yeah. And so many people consume your music from this country and um, your fans are, are actually asking why have you probably not collaborated with any Kenyan artist or are you looking forward to that? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I, I mean, I'm getting to I'm getting to meet a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the local artists more and more. Even at some uh, some of the gigs, we had a gig uh, last week with a show, uh, with uh, in Uganda. I think it was about a week or two weeks ago. I had a concert there, and uh, Shorty Ebaba was there. Um, and I know he's also here uh, and uh, yeah I'm definitely looking to collaborate from all African countries I'm mm -hmm. um, looking to collaborate with artists mm -hmm. on in, and and especially would Kenya if you would probably collaborate with someone so for now it's probably the ones that I've met so like even with, um, with like like Shorty Ebaba is the one I, I think I've got it yeah and of course yeah. you have huge uh, people who do follow your music and uh, as you are here of course they want to know what what will be happening how are you going to connect with them it's also here in Kenya you have huge fans yes. do you maybe have a plan of meet and greet yes yes yeah definitely I, th I I'm, I'm, I'm usually when I come like now I, I love to make even my personal arrangements just to meet local artists mm -hmm. to share uh, whether it's our challenges share um, our testimonies and, and obviously doing music on the, uh, doing gospel music on the continent so I'm definitely looking forward to that and also anyway I'm, I am collaborating with local artists because uh, we have integrated uh, some Kenyans into our band and 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 and, uh, and our team that will be uh, ministering on the day. So I'm very excited to to unveil the the local the local talents we're collaborating with. Yeah. 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 All right. So it's a big concert. Thousands of people expected to come through. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Especially because you know you're sharing a, a stage with Don Moen. Yes, Quite yes, a yes. big deal. How does that make you feel? Um, it makes me feel uh, great. Uh, I think it's about the second time I'm sharing the stage with Don Moen. Uh, but this is a bigger stage, definitely a much, much bigger stage. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it greatly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably you can also let us know uh, how the Pole Pole tour is coming along. Um, the Pole Pole tour is going very well. Um, we started in Uganda, obviously, last week. Um, it was amazing. There was there was there was a lot of there were, people showed up in numbers, and there was a lot of testimonies, which was what was important for us. A lot of testimonies of healing, a lot of testimonies um, which were amazing. Um, it, it was so. It was a very uh, big way to start. <laughs> uh, we're even nervous to see if the follow-up is gonna. <laughs> as, anyway. But we leave that to God. But yeah, it was really amazing. So today we're and now we're obviously in Kenya. Next week uh, I'm having a show in uh, three shows in Zambia.
Zambia, and then we are proceeding to Malawi. Yeah. Pole pole basically means slowly, slow, 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 slow. Uh, does it have to do anything to do with the name? Why you call it pole pole? Um. Why I called it pole pole is um, I, I believe that practice uh, patience is a is a spiritual practice. Um, you cannot apply patience. Uh, we cannot apply faith without a, a waiting of some sort. So, um, and I, I just feel that all great things require patience, require time to be invested in. So, um, I think it's a testimony of my life. There are a lot of things when I used to question God, but hey, I, I thought by now certain things would happen. But you know, working on God's time, I've I've seen the the fruits and the testimonies of that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. Yeah. Now I know you are. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, it, it's an amazing album, by the way. I really enjoy it. So, uh, as as Pompey, uh, what is that one thing that you'd want your listener to leave after listening to the whole album? After listening to the whole album. Perhaps, uh, what's your favorite song? From favorite song? That's difficult because I always say that I look at them like they are children. So I, I can't, it would be unfair to me for me to point one out as the favorite one. Um, so genuinely I don't have um, a favorite, um, but uh, I've actually forgotten the other question. Oh, take from the album. I think what I would want them to take is um, just uh, w w waiting on God, waiting on God. I, I think it's an album. Even the even the process of doing the album, what we've uh, aspired to do with the tour, it's been a, a lot of faith. It's been a lot of faith. Even back home, what we're trying to do, it's almost something that has never been done before. So, but it has also taken a long time. So, um, it's it's. I, I I just I just want to encourage people that you know um, time. Uh, produces great things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now talking about time, you have been in the in the music industry for more than a decade. Yes. I would like to know. I know you've also won so many awards, but I would really want to know what uh, award or stage that you consider your biggest achievement so far. What awards I consider the biggest so far? Um, maybe I, I, I would say I, I really thought on the African continent I thought Groove was a big award that I got I got uh, the Groove Award obviously I came here for the Groove Awards back in the day and it was the best uh, actually I think it was the best Southern African artist yes best Southern African artist um, yeah I think that was that was uh, we don't we, we don't have a very big uh, award platforms on the continent uh, but I think that was definitely one that was a, a big one um, yeah I think that's that's the one I, I can think of right now congratulations yes. I know you're a father thank you uh, so uh, what's what's different or what's the biggest change that you've had to experience after now transiting to fatherhood translating to fatherhood um, I almost feel like ministry has just begun for me. <laughs> I, I now have somebody who I am uh, responsible. <laughs> me and my wife are responsible for, yeah, to, to sort of mold and to. So, but it's a lot of joy, a lot, a lot of joy. Uh, I think there's no, there's no feeling like it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Minimis. <laughs> That's what everyone back home is saying that the kid needs a record deal before the before he even starts singing. But um, yeah, no, I I, I think I think we'll leave we'll leave him to be free to do what he what what God has assigned him to do. I don't. I, one of the things I really believe in is I don't I don't believe we look for jobs. I believe we are born with jobs. Yeah, we are we are born with assignments uh, that we should, we we just position ourselves in. So hopefully, I'll help him usher I'll help usher him into his God-given purpose. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, Pombi, yeah. you look so young, and I know you get a lot of texts from ladies, uh, maybe simping, asking you maybe to date them, become a iso. How do you handle such? Um, I, I get I get asked that question quite often, but um, I would say. Um, I, I, I create very clear boundaries um, around, and for years, I mean, I, I've very kept very uh, boundaries. Because sometimes I feel um, people can be able to see whether you, you there's there's a there's a there's a loophole. Mm -hmm. If like you you can you can create 
clear boundaries where people are actually maybe, so for lack of a better word, intimidated to be able to mm -hmm. make advances or any type, mm -hmm. such type. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's just worked for me for years. And um, yeah, no, I don't, I actually don't get any texts. You don't get Yeah, no. Wow. <laughs> maybe one last question. Uh, I really love to know, as someone who has interacted with, you know, some Kenyan artists, how would you compare the gospel industry, you know, Zambian with the, 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 uh, the Kenyan industry? The Kenyan industry. Very great question. Um, I would say the energy. I, I, I hear. I don't. I don't know if it's uh, in uh, e just East Africa generally. Us, as Zambians are very conservative. So when we're ministering, it'll be. It's very. Uh, but here, the energy is is is, is crazy, and and uh, I, I personally, I love it so much. Yeah. So I think that's the big difference. Um, um, our industries, I think, are, are similar because we're, I think we're both blessed um, because I think even here, gospel is part of the mainstream music. Um, and, 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 and that's a blessing because there are countries where gospel is not mainstream. Gospel is left to. So I would say we share that, that, that blessing, uh, Kenya and Zambia together. Yeah. yeah. As, as the African eagle, or as... Uh, I know this is what's breaking news that you're a big name in Africa. How do you now handle the pressure that comes with the different uh, challenges in this sense? Uh, Mizu was a big, uh, big album. Uh, Broken English, Buana. I mean, so now with Pole Pole, how do you handle the pressure? Because of course, we as your audience are always expecting something big. Bigger, so how do you handle that? They, 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 great question as well. Um, I would say I, 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 I relieve myself of the. Um, of the of of those pressures by just I like I like my music to be authentic to what I feel, um, and authentic to what I feel that I need to sp I need to speak in that season, um, and I, I think I, I try to stay away from uh, comparing um, too much because like there are certain um, with music I think it's it's very dynamic because you find there's a certain album, uh, for example there are certain albums that maybe in one region don't speak as much as in other regions. So you find like Miju, um, Miju definitely introduced me to Kenya. I, I know that much, my first album. Um, but the albums like Broken English that introduced me to different uh, other markets, it's a different feel. So sometimes it's, um, it, the, all the albums are never the same. The, the, the response, the reach is never the same. Um, but in regards to a wide uh, reach, I think uh, Pole Pole has definitely given, um, it, has, it, has, it, has, it has opened many, many uh, doors for us and, and yeah, we're very grateful. Yeah. Yeah. Message to your fans. Message to my fans, please come to the festival. Uh, looking forward to, uh, come bring a friend, bring an enemy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bring your landlord. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I, I'm sure it'll be a, it'll be a massive blessing. We 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 uh, I'll speak from me and my team. We've we've def we've been preparing for what we are going to present for almost six months now. So hopefully it'll be something that'll be worthwhile for everybody to see. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.